Hey everybody, Jake here. Just putting this before this video. This was posted by the Auto Chess Twitter, and they post this weekly. They talk about what units are popular right now, what's being picked the most, what's being picked the least, what lineups are really big. So I figured I'd mention before this video that I knew Beast, Six Beast, was a popular lineup right now. Specifically, Demon Beast is one of the top lineups right now, as well as that Divinity Mage that we see a ton of. So this video will go through how to play Six Beast, and we actually do use Demon in it. It's not a full Beast Demon build, but it's a pretty good example of it. As we look down the rest of this uh, lineup here, uh, Nine Warrior and Glacial Knight are the next most popular. Then we have Beast Kira, Feathered Assassin, Eggersis Dragon, Divinity Warlock, which I have not really played Divinity Warlock. Nine Hunter, and uh, we talked about how Feathered Assassin did well because of the buff. So I'm going to try to play a couple of the top builds from time to time that are happening in the week. I already have a pretty recent Divinity Mage, and this is my Demon Beast, so my next video you might see me play a, you know, a Nine Warrior, which I haven't done in a little while, or a Glacial Knight. But I just wanted to show you this, because I do think it's interesting. If you follow them on Twitter, you can see what's popular in the meta right now. And it's still uh, Divinity Mage, which is just brutal. And Demon Beast, really high. I think B Six Beast right now, super strong. So I hope you enjoy this Six Beast video. And I've got some more coming soon. Thanks. Love you. Hello, everybody. This is Jake, a.k.a. Spraggles. Ooh, my YouTube name. Uh, your resident content cowboy here. Saying yeehaw and good morning. Top of the morning to you. I recorded this in the morning. I don't believe I have much, if at all, any Irish in me. So I wanted to do an auto chess video here of a really basic strat that I think easily climbs the ladder and wins a lot of games. It's Six Beast. Six Beast, I feel like, is a really simple build. You don't have to do too much to make it work. They're pretty good early because they, they pair with Druids well. And then end game, they usually hang around and do pretty well as you move through the game. Uh, we'll grab... Who? I don't even care. Sure, Taboo Witcher, why not? So, the thought process was Six Beast, if you look at it over here. Once you get Six Beast, not only do all your allies get 30% attack, enemies take... 18 extra physical damage when attacked by an ally who benefits from beast so that could be any of your summons that could be any of your other units because anyone benefits from this so there are a few directions you can go uh, I think a strong move is to move towards uh, beast assassin I think there are a few ways to play it though and honestly you're gonna have strong results whichever way you push do I grab these rangers? I don't really need them, but I could get an early two-star unit, so I'll just grab them here. I'm looking for beasts. If I can, I would like to secure some type of win streak early on, of course, but if not, I'm not super stressed about it either way. I really think this build, it's hard to at least get in the top four with this build. Uh, excuse me, hard to not. Can you imagine if I made a build? This build sucks. Don't, don't do this build, you always lose. Uh, no, it's hard to not get at least top four. I usually win with this build, or at least get top two, because I don't think it's, I don't think it's the best at the very, very late game. It's not my favorite. Uh, and there are some variations you could do to make it a little stronger, but in general, you're gonna do pretty well with this build. You, you are. Let's see. We could do a Dracula mask. Eh. It, it, that would work if we were going assassins. Let's see who we got here. Swordman. Swordman's a pretty good unit early on. I could switch him for you. I could actually switch out a couple here and go warrior. Um, and I might, I might actually. Let's see. I'll grab Abyssal Guard for a moment here. I don't have an exact idea of where this is going to go yet. We'll probably lose this round here. We don't have any good synergy going on yet. But soon enough, we'll start winning, and we'll get our six beast. And again, they work well early. 
They work pretty good with Feathered too, but I like taking advantage of the synergy with Beast, which is that units do more damage. Well, hello, Hell Knight. Hell Knight, by the way, I'm sure if you've watched my videos, you know this. One of my favorite early units is a Hell Knight. I'm gonna get rid of my Witchers here in a second. I'll keep them just in case we go uh, and get ourselves a two-star Witcher. And you know what, I'll level. I'll level here and just kind of push my advantage. See if I can get some early wins out of this. And then item-wise, I don't think I'm gonna go Dracula Mask. I think I could definitely do Wooden Club Rune Hammer, which is a pretty strong one. Maybe that's what I'll do here. And we're just trying to be bullies right now. Just pressing the advantage. We've got a Synergy. We've got an early Hell Knight, who I think is just a great early carry unit. Does a ton of damage early game. And again, we're just going to be continuing to move and transitioning into a six beast build with probably an assassin counterpart. I really like assassins with six beasts, personally. Venom, do I need you? I don't think I need you, buddy. I wouldn't hate you, but I'm actually gonna sell these two guys and then maybe sell Witcher too. Mm, or do I just grab Venom and hold on to it for a sec? All right, I'll grab Venom and hold on to it for a sec. And I'm gonna choose an item here. I think I'll go Rune Hammer. Ooh, Rune Hammer Life Crystal, another good one. Probably Rune Hammer Wooden Club. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this little guy. You get attack, you get attack speed, and when you hit someone, uh, the attack can't be evaded and it will reduce their HP regen. So, not a bad little setup here. And for the time being, I'm gonna put it on our Hell Knight. Our Hell Knight is, again, our early carry. Because of that pure damage you get from the Demon Synergy early on, I just think he's a great building unit. Strange Egg. I will grab a Strange Egg, absolutely. I don't love it because it it's so expensive right now, but it, it's a good item. And I could sell a couple things here. I'm gonna sell Venom. If it looks like we're winning this round, I'll sell Venom just so I can keep uh, my synergy, excuse me, my interest up. I have not had enough coffee today. <laughs> Where's my coffee? Am I right? Oh God. Every day. I become someone I don't recognize more and more. Ooh, this person's got three pandas already. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the build that uh, wins the game right here. You're round seven, you got all three pandas already. You're in good shape. I didn't need to sell Venom because we lost that round. Wow, three pandas this early in the game. We should watch this person, Sir, Sir Alpha 05, Senior Alpha. That That's going to be a tough build to beat. Uh, we could grab wizards here. I don't really need to. I only grab the witcher just because it, you know, two star units better than a one star unit here. We're not finding our feathered units. We're not finding our other druids yet, but I'm not stressed. Again, six beast. I'm telling you. Just a simple build here. You know, we've got uh, sword man here. I could, I could drop sword man for someone else at some point. I think he's a pretty strong unit. He's actually positioned terribly. I don't know why I haven't positioned like that. But we'll do okay with this setup here against most builds. That that three panda at round seven, that's gonna be a tough one to beat. I don't, I would doubt that this build will beat that. That's, that's a brutal start to a game. It really is. Yeah, we did okay there. Not too bad. Not too bad. And we don't have much going on. We're not really doing anything crazy here. We're just finding, ooh, werewolf. Hey, buddy, welcome to the squad. Werewolf's a good one for us. Gives us warrior and it gives us beast. I'm gonna level here. I'm gonna continue to push our advantage. Getting werewolf out there, that gives us our three warrior. So, you know, we're just getting multiple synergies here. We've got witcher, which messes with their demons. We've got warrior that gives all our warriors six armor. Oh, I gotta move you. And we've got beast, one more beast unit, and then we get four beast. Four beast is a nice little bump. I mean, 30% increased uh, attack damage is big. So, and that's something to also notice. It's attack, 30% attack. So it doesn't help too much if we've got units who are really big on magic damage, 
Right now, all of our units here are strong with attack. Ooh, we're getting beat by some goblins. My favorite build coming to get me. Those goblins. Let's see. I'm going to level you up. And Thorn Predator is an interesting one. Thorn Predator could kind of work at some point. Whisper Seer uh, is going to help us. The question is... Do I, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of Venom and I'm gonna grab Thorn Predator. And my thought here is he pairs well with the assassins that we might be moving into. And he also helps us with the possible insectoid sort of late game thing we can do there. So we'll see. We'll see if we end up doing that. Beast Insectoid works pretty well too. And if you haven't seen an insectoid build in action, check out a couple of my other videos because I think there's some good examples of how to play Insectoid pretty effectively. Let's see, we've got another Rune Hammer. I, I like Rune Hammer Life Crystal. It's one of my favorite items right now. And we've got two Dracula Masks. Jeez. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Oh, and we got a Lucky Coin dropped, which does combine with Life Crystal here. It's not a bad item either. I kind of like it. But you know, I think I'm gonna go Rune Hammer Life Crystal. And I'm going to, we'll go put that on Tusk just because he's our two star beast here. We'll put a few things on Tusk actually. I think he'll be a pretty brutal unit for us. Hmm. Fallen Witcher, Pirate Captain. These are all units I like for different reasons. Fallen Witcher lets us uh, have multiple demons on the board. So I think I actually will probably go with that. And then Pirate Captain's just one of my absolute favorite units in the game. He's also a warrior. I will take Pirate Captain. Yeah, I think, I hope I win this round. Am I, are we gonna win it? Yeah, we are, right? It's pretty close, but I think we're winning it. Either way, I'm gonna take Pirate Captain. And uh, with that one gold, we push to 10. We get our little victory there. And what I can do now, I can move, take out Swordman, put Pirate Captain in, say bye Swordman. And I can also put in Fallen Witcher if I'd like. Right now, I don't have someone I would love to switch out for Fallen Witcher. I could see switching out Hell Knight, you know, I could give it a shot and just see how that goes. Kind of swap them maybe a little bit here. I'm going to try to swap like that and just see how beneficial that is. I took everything off you, right, Hell Knight? Yeah, I did. Uh, Fallen Witcher gives us Demon. So we could go Beast Demon. Demons are just really powerful units so maybe we don't end up doing our assassin idea maybe we go beast demon you can really combo a lot of things and for now just for the gold i'm gonna get rid of that assassin and i'm gonna think okay maybe right now we're moving towards more of a beast demon style build unicorn i will grab you and I'm not in a position to level. I am in a position to kind of roll a little bit. I would like more of my beasts. One more beast and we turn on a little bit more, you know? We get that synergy to increase even more. But we've got two witchers out there. The other thing we can get, of course, is more demons. Now that I have two witchers, I can put as many demons as I want out there. And they all benefit from that pure damage. So there's a few options to go with here. Ooh, look at them. Got that early, uh, what's his name, Soul Reaper? Yeah, early Soul Reaper. One of my favorite units, Soul Reaper. Love Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper, Pirate Captain. I mean, these are some heroes, if you ask me. Let's see. I'm gonna move this egg just over. Oops. Excuse me, egg. Oh, this is nice. Wow, look at this. Werewolf and Poisonous Worm. So we've got some beasts coming in here, huh? Well, we definitely want to put one of them down. And I think it would be stronger. You know, we don't even need two Witcher currently. I'm going to go Beast. Move these units like this. Put these guys back one. And I might use my egg on... You know what? I'm just going to use my egg on Werewolf and just continue to push our advantage. I don't love using the egg there. I would normally hold it, but I would like us to just win. So let's win. That was my thought with that. We probably would have won without it, but let's win. Huh? And again, this really works with anything you're doing. Like, we've got uh, some glacial units here. We could definitely pop those in. Beast Glacial works great. 
gives you increased attack speed. Beast Demon works great. You get all that pure damage. Beast Assassin works great. You get that huge pop of damage. All of these are really strong options. So, my ba basically all I'm saying is there are so many directions you can go with a six beast. It's a super simple build. That's one of the reasons I, I think it's so strong. It's not complex. Lately, I've been really trying to play with some more complex builds, and they can be really fun and really sneaky. If you haven't seen some of my recent videos, I really recommend that Sneaky Assassin and Sneaky Feather. They're super fun builds, but they're tricky, you know, in comparison. And this build is like, this is cake for the most part. I don't, again, I don't think it's absolute top tier, top meta build, but it's pretty darn good. I think I'll take Lucky Coin here. We already have a Lucky Coin, right? Yeah, I could already just combine this and then hold off. That's what I'll do. Um, let's see. I would have grabbed Venom earlier if I was going Assassin, but at this point, I think I'm probably going Beast Demon, so I don't need to do that currently. You know who I'd love to get is more of, uh more poisonous worms man if you guys have had uh the great opportunity to get a three star poisonous worm he's such a fun unit you're just putting out so many of his little guys what are these called plague wards you're just putting plague wards all over the map it's a really fun unit when you level it up early on i feel like it's not super useful it has a great synergy though which is it's not only got insectoids so you can you know, transition to that. It's also got Warlock, and Warlock is a really, really fun way to go. Ooh, we got beat up by some hunters, huh? Wasn't paying enough attention. Good for you. Let's see. Tusk, I don't think we're gonna have a three-star Tusk. I'll grab him for one sec. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'll just move him over here. I'm gonna now, we have over 50 gold, which means all our money goes to leveling, and it goes to finding units we need. I'm just going to put out Witcher there for now. I can't put out my other demon without Witcher there. So that's the reasoning behind that. Let's see here. We got Assassins. Assassins? I didn't used to love Assassins. And now lately, I feel like I'm pretty brutal when I play Assassins. I used to not care about assassins too much, and now I feel like I've got a few assassin builds under my belt that I really enjoy. Let's see, another werewolf. That's an, ooh, Lord of Sand. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, part of the reason that uh, they also work well with assassins is Lord of Sand is an assassin. And I don't think we're getting a three-star werewolf either. It's not that it's impossible though, so I'll hold them. Um, for the time being, I think Lord of Sand might be a little stronger than this little guy here. So I'm just going to swap him. I like Poisonous Worm better, but a one-star Poisonous Worm, I don't really love. Mm. Is this the pandas? Oh, they're just going to beat us up. This panda build, man. I, I swear, you see the, those pandas that early? Whoa, this is going to be so brutal. So brutal. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Those pandas are just going to kill. All right, let's see here. Oh, Warpwood Sage. So Warpwood Sage helps us um, early on. I would have rather had Warpwood Sage. It doesn't synergize with what we're doing super hard. I could put Warpwood Sage and Whisper Seer out there and synergize with my Taboo Witcher. But for the time being, it doesn't really help me too much. I'm just going to continue to level here. I want to get us up to level 8 at least and get our 6 beasts out there so that everything else really synergizes with those 6 beasts. The druids are good here, but they're probably just on my bench currently to 3 star our unicorn and uh, that other druid when we find him. I can never remember his name. The big one with the big, <laughs> with the big head, that one. And, uh, you know, we got beat by that last person there. We're getting beat a couple times here, but our economy is so strong. So we're not really losing anything. We're getting beat by people who have uh, literally two gold. So I'm not stressed about losing to someone with no money, you know? Uh, now, if I'm losing to someone with 50 gold, 
that's when I know my build's in trouble. But the only person we're losing to with, uh, well, even even the panda has six gold on him. So right now our economy really really strong, and we're gonna be able to find our beast soon. We're level eight now, so I'm actually gonna start looking for those units. Two starring up a couple of the guys that we don't have. It would be really nice to get a two star fallen witcher. Fallen witcher is gonna be super beneficial for us. So let's see. It's so annoying on PlayStation, these items don't pick up early, so I have to, like, remember what we have. Okay, Fallen Witcher and Hell Knight, welcome to the squad. Let me roll real quick. Ooh, Razor Claw, there you are. So I can drop, yeah, Tusk, grab Razor Claw, and is that all six beasts? That is. I'm gonna remove you, oops, excuse me, I'm gonna remove you, and I'll also remove, hmm, Witcher. So, right now we've just got that six beast synergy, and that's going to help us out a lot. I still need to find more units here, and if I wasn't talking about this right now, I'd be looking for them. But, let's also see what items we got and what we can build. I'm going to grab this Magicka Staff, and then I'm also going to grab this Lucky Coin. So you are going to combine, you are going to combine... Wow, we actually did pretty good almost against that panda build. I'm I'm pretty surprised there. But there we've got a good setup here. Six beasts is just good. I mean we've turned on our six beasts now. We got our fallen witcher to level two. That unit is definitely gonna take a lot of our a lot of our stuff here. He's just a super strong unit. And I'm gonna put the item on you. Okay, uh let's see here. We gotta roll. I don't need to star you up. You're not part of the build. Razor Claw definitely stars up. Doom Arbiter. Ooh, can't wait to get Doom Arbiter out there. I could I could switch him for Pirate Captain. In fact, oh, but I need my other Witcher. Not yet. Not yet, but I will. Not yet, but soon. Let's see here. Everything's going pretty well. This guy's not too dangerous, though. This guy we're fighting here. See ya, buddy. Sorry. Sorry to knock you out like that. And who else are we looking to star up before we move here? We've got Lord of Sand. We could star him up. We could star up Poisonous Worm. Not too many people here. I think Hell Knight, unfortunately, I think I need the bench space right now. So I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to grab Lord of Sand. And I wonder, I think I might push to, to level 9 here. Uh, let's roll a little bit, actually. I want to find a couple more people. Not you. Pirate Captain? Yeah. My conquest is the sea of stars. No. Mm. No. So again, here we are. Six beast, one demon right now. We should be going beast demon. And Pirate Captain is just such a strong unit that I might just hold on to Pirate Captain for a while, right? I think he can make the build. I just love that boat. You get that boat coming in, crashing on everybody. It's pretty dope. We're close to having our three-star unicorn. We're close to, um, you know, werewolf can probably pop off our bench actually here. Ooh, Venomancer's really good. So I'm gonna get rid of werewolf. I'm gonna grab Venomancer. Oh, Doom Arbiter. Ugh. Oh boy. Let's do this quick. Unicorn. I actually should grab that Razor Claw. Uh, now I just want to kind of level, but I don't have the ability to. So, my bench is full. I think this Doom's going to be better than this Pirate Captain eventually. To use Doom uh, super effectively, I need both Witchers out there. Then the other question is maybe I don't do that at all. And maybe I just keep one Demon. But I at least got to grab that Razor Claw. So, I'm going to drop... Uh, I'm gonna drop you. That's probably not the best call, but I'm just kind of between. I think Doom Arbiter is so good that I kind of want to use it. Poisonous Worm, huh? Okay. Let's roll. A few people we're looking for here. There's our Poisonous Worm. So that fixes that problem. So. Here's what we've got. We need our Lord of Sand. I would love to have a two-star pirate captain. 
I would like to get Venomancer out there because Venomancer synergizes with Poisonous Worm and it gives us this awesome Warlock ability and that's going to be huge for us. And then the question is, once I have that, that puts us at 9. I think I might... I, I either need to decide between Pirate Captain and Doom right now. That's what I need to decide. Both really strong units. But to get one, I need Witcher. I think I'm going to go... Hmm. And there's my Fallen Witcher here. What if I push? What if I push? I'm going to push up to level 9 right now. It's premature. But I'm doing it. We're level 9. And I'm going to put out this guy. So I guess my thought here is a few things. I want to have this... Warlock Synergy. And this is actually the nice thing about Six Beasts. There's so many directions to go. I want to have this Warlock Synergy. I also would like multiple demons, but maybe I give up my multiple demon plans. I keep my Pirate Captain, and I just go, screw it. My next unit could be... Hmm. Kira? Maybe? That would be a weird one. Ogre? Oh, I'll grab Fallen Witcher. Fallen Witcher could easily be my three-star unit here. Or, I get rid of Pirate Captain now. I put my demon out there and I put Taboo Witcher out there. Probably stronger. Grim Touch. Another demon. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Am I right? Let's swap him. No, Jake. Alright, screw it. I'm not doing Doom. I'm keeping Pirate Captain. He's my boy. He's been here. Is my ride or die? Uh, what do I want here? I'm gonna put this on you. You got room? Yeah. Okay. Right now I'm okay. I'll probably roll here in a minute. I would love to start up my Venomancer. I'd love to start up my Pirate Captain. And then from there, I mean, we're pretty strong. And again, I'm not saying this is the number one build in the match, but it's hard to not get top few with this beast. And it's not a hard build. As you guys heard me sort of going back and forth of all the units I could pick, I don't think there there's one that's probably better than the others, but there are none where I'd go, oh, I really screwed up because I didn't pick this, you know? Demon's probably the way to go, but Pirate Captain's my boy, and I hate letting my boys down. So... We're really close to a three-star Razor Claw. We need our Lord of Sand that I sold earlier. It was probably a little bit of a sketchy move. Taboo Witcher, I don't think you're making the build in general, pal. So, you can probably go at this point. We could get another... There's no point to have another Insectoid. I could dupe a unit at this point to work with my Insectoid Synergy. So I could dupe Venomancer. I could dupe Pirate Captain. In fact, I think I'll probably do that. That, that makes sense to me. Just use that Insectoid Synergy a little bit with a dupe. That's what I'll do. We're beating up this guy pretty good. Doing pretty good with our economy too still. I love keeping our gold high. As long as we're not desperate, I keep my gold high. Ooh, Kira. Okay. I don't think Ogre Mage is going to be it, but right now I know it's not Witcher. I'm getting rid of him. You're not part of the build. I love you, but you're gone. Okay. Ogre Mage again. Let's see. Poisonous Worm. I don't think it's going to be you to three stars, but God, I love a three-star Poisonous Worm. Do we search a little bit? Ah, I, I feel like I don't need... I'm not desperate right now to keep rolling. We're going into a bot round next round. Oh, there's the panda. Well, maybe I should have been a little desperate. This guy's gonna eat us alive. Oh, never mind. I don't know what happened. What happened to your build, bro? I mean, that Ember Blade could still beat us, but wow. You get three panda that early, and you're not crushing this match. He's still got a lot of gold, though. So, but boy, three panda that early, I feel like I can't lose. How could you lose? Not saying he's losing the match, by the way. He could still win, but how how could you lose? All right, let's roll a little bit. Fallen Witcher could be our three-star. Fallen Witcher's just dope. Venomancer, I want you. I'll get rid of these Kira. Let's see. Shining Assassin. Okay, I'm okay with this for now. 
I would love, before I move on to finding my three-star units, I would love to get these two dummies off my bench. So that would mean finding this other Razor Claw. Shouldn't be too hard to find. I don't even think anyone's building beasts but me, so probably isn't Razor Claw sitting out there. What item do I like on on you? I kind of like that Curus on anybody. I don't know if I've built that, though. Because what is Cure that Curus build from? I'm blanking on it right now. Hmm. No, I don't love all of that. Uh, okay. Let's go from maybe Ghost Blade. <sighs> sure. And I'll build this guy. All right. What do we got? Anybody? No, not you, Warpwood Sage. You jerk. I'm looking for, ooh, pirate dupes. Pirate dupes, pirate dupes. These are some sweet pirate dupes. We're looking for Razor Claw. Beating this person, I wasn't paying attention. Look out! You got beat by someone who's not watching. Okay. Um, I think, oh, I need that Lord of Sand. I think you're almost full, but you're not full, so you can take that. Okay, we need that Lord of Sand. I'll make them Fallen Witcher, go. Razor Claw, go, finally. Okay, things are moving. You guys are out of here, you suck. I never needed you, you were pawns in my game. Ha 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 ha, I'm crazy. Lord of Sand stars up. All right, we're chill for a second. I'd like to push us to 10, but only once we need it, get that other dupe out there. Having a dupe of that pirate captain would be nice. That's a strong Kira unit it produces. But right now, again, we got six beasts. We went six beast demon. And it's working out good. We're not stressed. Poisonous worm. Strange egg. I could do pirate captain now, but I could also do uh, Venomancer now. Both great units. Sure, wear that. Who is my... I'm gonna give some... I gotta give some stuff to Pirate Captain, right? He's my boy. Although, I've given the item to Poisonous Worm. I actually think that item's probably more legit on Pirate Captain. The uh, mana item. Who are we up against here? My favorite build. Uh, and we'll lose to it, of course, because it's so beautiful. I love Goblin, and they got that Soul Reaper. I mean, this is just such a such a sexy build, isn't it? Oh, Witcher's doing pretty good. He's our three-star unit if we if we can get him there. He's really good. A three-star Fallen Witcher is just really useful. He made it. He made it happen. What a hero. Okay, who are we looking for? We're looking for a few people here. And we're also looking, ooh, there we go, Venomancer 2-star. Not bad at all. We're also looking to push to 10. I don't need to do it this second. I'm going to try this item on Pirate Captain here and just see how that works out. That might be a mistake, but we'll see what that does. I, yeah. Yeah. Well, here it's going to be useful just because I get that early boat crash with all that damage. So it worked out for that guy. I'm not trying to be cruel to this dude, but how do you lose with those pain? How, how are you not just beating me mercilessly? Okay, now we're at a weird place because we got this Kira. I, I, I'm going to go to 10 here in a minute because pirate having dupe pirate captains, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I said Kira instead of Insectoid. Having duplicate units out means they will spawn an insectoid once they die. Having two two-star pirate captains, that's a good dupe that it spawns. I'm not going hard into the Kira build, but that spawns a good unit for us. That's a really solid unit. And we could probably open up this beast synergy here. What do we need for either of these? I can't remember what we need for Kiris. Oh, it's that armor. I rarely build that. But when I do, I get that Curus. That's kind of important, huh, Jake? 
Maybe figure out what you're doing better, Jake. All right. Well, I can do this. I rarely build that. But you know what? Be, it might be fun to do. So let's put that on. This guy is... Yeah, we could do that. Sure. Mana. Give it to you. Um, Let's go. Level 10. Leveling up here. Spending a lot of money. More money than I want to spend. Ooh, we, we go there next round. Was off by one. Next round. We'll get there next round. Find Magicka Staff. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, this build's just gonna eat it. I mean, this build, when their build turns on, it's so much better than ours, in my opinion. I, I really love Goblin. And look at him right there, just killing us. Okay. So here we are. We're level 10. Now we have our two pirate captains out. Ooh. And an item here. Sure. And an item here. Sure. And an item here. Sure. Put that on the other pirate captain. Put that on the other pirate captain. So now... And we're going to move these out a little bit. Just kind of move everybody around. And now what we're looking for is to three-star that Fallen Witcher. And possibly Poisonous Worm. Because that would just be nice. And then I could put some items on him. But definitely three-starring that, uh, that Witcher if we can. Fallen Witcher. And moving them around a little bit helps. You see that he spawned a three-star poisonous worm that pirate captain did. So that was pretty cool. Nice little bonus there. But we really could use that witcher getting to three-star to make this build sing even more. Technically right now, pirate captain's closer to being a three-star unit. But I would like to keep those dupes out there. Alright, let's see. Do we need to roll? I mean, we're, we're one win away. So, let's roll. Poisonous Worm. Phantom Queen. Hmm. Frostblaze. Pirate again. Strange Egg. Venomancer. I want more... Hmm. Where is my Fallen Witcher at? Where are you at, cutie pie? I would really love to have you here, because you're super beneficial for our build. Well, that was a weird second boat. That second boat sucked for us. The third boat. These boats are in such terrible positions for us. What were those boats, right? Okay, let's see. There's Fallen Witcher. Just need one more of you, huh? And we can use one of our eggs. Doom, Dragon, Venom, I'll roll again. There's Fallen Witcher, okay. Sell you, grab you. So, now we got a three-star Fallen Witcher. That's pretty good for us. Let me try to switch these here. Just moving some stuff around. I could actually open these units up more, I think would make more sense, but... That three-star Fallen Witcher should be beneficial, but we're getting in this big cloud of, of damage from that... Uh, God, that guy, I'm blanking on his name, but he's one of my favorites. Dark Spirit. But, oh, well, maybe this Fallen Witcher is actually going to do it for us. Is that the game? Did I get you? I got gotcha. you. So there we go. Six Beast. Uh, again, lots of ways you can build it. Six Beast Assassin. Six Beast Demon. Uh, you saw me there. I kind of did Six Beast Demon Warrior Venom. You know... There's just a ton of ways you can go, and I feel like it's an easy top few places build. It's really hard to lose going six beast, I swear. And and I don't mean you're going to get first place every round. I feel like it, it doesn't even often finish first for me, but it definitely is a top place finish. One through three, oftentimes, with six beast. I see a lot of good six beast, too high level. So I hope that helped. Just real basic there. Just kind of going six beast and building through that, pushing through the win streak, even though we kind of, you know, lost our win streak at times. But I think that's a really, really strong, simple build. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Mwah!